<laughs> if it's this way. Ah. Okay, we're back at the hotel. Oh, this isn't right, is it? Oh boy. Hey, Shushan guy. Arcade Street? Is it down Arcade Street? I don't remember seeing an arcade. What? I've never been here before. What is this? Are you the owner of this establishment? Yes, I am. Business going well? Can't complain. Have you heard about the suicide at the Hotel Lisbon? Yeah, they say a guy committed suicide with 14 stabs in the back. Is that possible? Beep. How do you know there was a suicide? Brian over there, bellboy at the Hotel Lisbon. He comes here to play once in a while, he told me. Oh yeah, so Bruno from Hotel Lisbon, huh? Brian. Whatever. Beep. Very well. And you are... Stuart. Okay, Mr. Floor, if you find anything else, let us know, alright? Stuart. Whatever. Cool! How have I never seen this before? Have I just never been down this way? Hmm, proves I'm going entirely the wrong way. Like, definitely the wrong way. Oh, we're back at my apartment. At least the whole thing loops around. I can't go that wrong. So there's the restaurant. Gosh darn it. Here's Bargaff. So, she's having an affair with Mr. Manel. Oh, he's got a thing or two coming. First he tries to prove he's not the... What's the cue? Detective Kish, I wonder if you have a minute for us to talk. Of course, Mr. Mongrel. <laughs> Manel. Right. I noticed the detectives were very successful in solving policeman Garcia's cash, and I was wondering if you're available for this, of course. If you could help me solve my cash. Beep. Of course we will. Boop. Fantastic. I know I could count on you. Oh, we've got another side quest. <gasps> Difficulty hard. Damn it, you accepted it. We don't even know how much we're getting paid for this. Beep. I. I. Well. Boop. But this is so much fun. Beep. Whatever, let's check what this case really is before we move about any further. Okay, explain to me in detail what's the case. Well, I made a bet with an old friend of mine. I won the bet, but he decided to never pay me back. I want you to find him and bring him back here so we can pay for the bet he lost. What a nice friend you have there. And what do we get if we find him? I'll give you a percentage of the bet. Let's see, 30%? Oh jeez, a percentage? You don't. You just don't want to pay us, right? Boop, and may I ask what is this percentage based on? Beep. Twenty thousand pounds. Twenty thousand. Six thousand? Hmm, what do you mean six thousand? The man said twenty. It's our thirty percent boop. Oh. Ah. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Bleep. It's a lot of money. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Blop. <laughs> what kind of bub was this? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you find out where Bob is. Bob, said the name of your friend. Yes. You know any Bob clown? No, boop. So some friend of yours, do you have a photo of him? I have several pictures of Bob and me on the wall back there. You can take the ones with Bob in them. One's enough. Take as many as you need. Where does this friend of yours live? I have no idea. We've known each other for many years, but we only meet and talk at the bar. So I see. So I see. Ugh, voice went a little bit weird there. Maybe the clients at the bar might know where Bob lives. I don't think so. Bob has always been a very private guy. I don't think anybody... I don't think nobody knows, but you can try. £20,000, right? 30% of £20,000. Right. Eee! Ha ha ha. Anything else you want to tell us? Information about him? Anything. All that you might remember about him. What he wears, where he eats, what he usually does, anything. Well, besides what you see in the photos back there, there isn't much to know about Bob. He's a truck driver, so he spends a lot of time out of town. Maybe you can find something in the bathroom. Bathroom? Yes, yes, there's always some jerks that write stupid shit on the walls. I'm always cleaning those stupid things. <sighs> Ugh, I like out of breath. But you can always find some phone numbers and addresses in there. <laughs> Any anything else? <laughs> there are so <also> dicks. <laughs> dicks. The male sex organ. I thought you knew this case. Oh, shut up. Ahem. Dicks. Yes, in the bathroom. There are always tons of drawn dicks. I don't know, maybe that helps somehow. You never know. 
think that's it. Let's go find this Bob. Okay, won't you by any chance also want to get in on that? Uh, no, it's not our style. Okay, okay. Now, anyway, I've got a different question for you now that I've agreed to help you on that. I need to know whether you murdered this man. <laughs> the interview. Uh, oh, shut up, clown. Watch the master in action. Alright then. Detective Case it is. He wants to prove his worth. Worth. His worth. There's no S in there. Uh, this gaff bar card belongs to you, doesn't it? That's not the gaff bar card. Oh! Yes, yeah, it belongs. Why? Whoopsie. It's alright, we've got a second chance. Um. Uh. Uh. Da -da. Mr. Manel, your lady loves longer, aren't you? How did the detective get our card? Uh, I mean, my card. Darn it. Uh, yes, I'm Stephanie Lush lover. Damn it. Uh, you care to explain why your car was in Miss Love's bag? Care to explain why your wig hairs were doing in room 302? Care to explain why was your wig found in room 302? Wig hairs? Yeah! Yeah, baby. Wig hairs from my wig, but I no longer use it. I mean, what wig? I don't wear a wig. I'm not wearing a wig right now. Uh, is he wearing a wig in this photo? Uh, of course you wear a wig. We found this ugly thing in your own bar. Right? No! Yes, I wear. Sure, what? Just wait until you get older, then we'll talk. Time catches every man detective. You wait and she. You but no one will know because of my fabulous hat. I could be bold right now and, and no one would know. Alright, fine. Clownbot, you get a go. Let's get to it. Oh. Right. Beep boop. This, uh... <laughs> there is a very strong love triangle between you, Mrs. Love, and one Mavel. Uh, yes. You're very clearly dating, as this card proves. Yes, yes. Oh, darn it. The strange wig was found here in the bar, I suspect it's yours. Your wig is directly correlated with the hairs we found previously. What about these hairs from your wig that were found in room 302? That's gotta be it, right? Yes! Little bot dosh can't be the hairs from my wig because I don't wear it any longer. I mean, what wig? Uh, I'm 99% certain these hairs belong to it. What are you doing in hotel room 302? I have your wig and I have your hairs. I concluded you're the killer. It's gotta be... I have your wig. Right? Yeah. Is that it? Cracked! Boom! Clownbot is better. Clownbot is just better. Jeez, again. Seems there are people who only up to you, open up to you, huh? Mr. Manel, it's time to go to the station and make a statement. But I... My hair! It's called the cap. <laughs> Here it comes! <laughs> this... Why? Finally, I started to think we'd never catch him again. I never thought I'd say this, but good job, Case. Ah, oh, he's a little smiley face. Searing good job twice in the day, same day lifts my spirits. Talk to me, bro. Ask him about the main case. I didn't kill Mr. Love. I've told you this several times before. Beep, it's very hard to hear someone talk when you're in a cab at 50 miles per hour. Another one. What do you mean you didn't kill him? You confessed! Explain! I don't know how the hash got there, but I was never in that room 302. May the Lord be with us! Listen to the man, we had nothing to do with this! Uh, Mr. Mongrel, so you're Stephanie Love's lover, is that right? Manel. Whatever. Yes, I am. Then I can say that you had the motive to kill Mr. Love, and that means you might be the murderer! Murderer! No, no, never! I would never do such a thing! Besides, I was here at the bar all night. Everyone there can testify, you can check. Damn it, this complicates everything. But you were the last one to see Mr. Love alive on the night of the crime, weren't you? Yes, I was. Like I told you last time, he was here drinking and talking about committing suicide. Then he went to the restroom and I never saw him again. That was it. 
Seems he's telling the truth. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Some hairs from your wig room, room 302. You still need to explain how you got there. I told you, I haven't used the wig in a long time. Besides, I was never in room 302. Anybody could have stolen a few hairs from my wig to frame me or something, right? Gosh darn it! Oh, shut up. God damn it. Bloody hell, this wasn't you, was it? Are you going to tell me Miss, Miss Love had more than one lover or something? Pfft. Well, uh, yes, she has another lover. Another lover? Another lover? Another lover? <laughs> another lover? Holy moly, another lover? Fuck's sake. Stephanie. Yes, another lover. Besides me and Sheriffin, Stephanie was dating the manager of the Noita Dash restaurant. What is the guy's name, really? Ah, uh, Vila Labosh. You know this, um, <clears throat> you know this how? One day, this man shows up drunk in my bar, bragging about having slept with the woman. I was pretty upset because I thought she only had eyes for me. But he kept bragging, bragged so much to give him me this ID like photo of them ki kissing the nerve of the guy. Oh, God. Okay, well, take him away. I guess we better go and speak to the restaurant guy then. Shit. 